Hi everybody, this is Manny coming back out to you from Santos uh, on my, I don't even know how many trips this is out here scouting and getting ready, setting up the course for you for the upcoming uh, Santos Bike Challenge. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions online from uh, mostly uh, adventure race beginners or people that have never done a race like this before and they've asked me a few questions, uh, two important ones that I want to cover right now. Um, one of the questions they've asked is what kind of navigation skills are you going to need for this race? Um, that's pretty simple to answer. You're going to need two very simple skills that are easy to get. One is you're going to be able to need to follow a map like this. It's got all the trails uh, of the whole Santos area. So you'll need to like be able to, to say, okay, I'm on this trail. I need to go to this trail and just follow it along uh, on the trails just using the map. So that's uh, you know a pretty simple navigation there. And the only other skill you're going to need is you're going to need to learn how to follow a bearing. So uh, on your compass, you will set a specific bearing at different points and you will have to follow it for 10, 20, 30 meters uh, off trail to find the checkpoints. Um, following a bearing with your compass is one of the easiest navigation skills you can learn. It takes 10 minutes maybe tops to learn it. Um, and I'm going to have a clinic uh, race day morning uh, before the race starts for anybody that is not comfortable with it. It's so all you'll need, 10 minutes, uh, you'll learn it for what you need here. Um, second question I've been asking is about bike computers. I said that you're gonna need a bike computer and that's really mostly uh, for, again, people that are not um, very good navigators because uh, I'm gonna have two different sets of maps for instructions, one for people that are good navigators and people that are beginners or not so comfortable. Uh, the set of maps and instructions for, for that group will have distances that'll help you find specific trail intersections specific points so if you have a bike computer or some kind of way to measure distance on your bike uh, it's going to make it a lot easier for you so you don't need a specific bike computer but if you have like like i use my garmin watch here that keeps track of of distance uh that'll do um as long as you don't use anything that'll help you actually navigate as in look at a map uh, like a gps this is a gps watch but i just use it for my distance um anyway uh, that's really the main two questions I've been getting. Uh, I think everybody that is a mountain biker can do this race. Um, like I said before, I know it's going to be hot out here on July 30th, but I'm going to have a lot of refreshments for you guys. Uh, so hopefully we'll keep you hydrated. Um, registration obviously still open. So if you guys register soon, we'll be able to get everything ready, maps printed and everything for you guys. Our race is July 30th. And again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to visit the website, which has a lot more information about the race, or email me at any time, manny at flxadventures.com, and I will be more than glad to help you guys out. So hope that some of you guys want to take this challenge, and I will see you out here July 30th.